subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. In Matthew 16, Jesus asks what good it is for a man to gain the whole world, but lose his soul. To gain the whole world is to receive all the world has to offer. Money, fame, pleasure, power, prestige, etc. To lose one's soul is to die without a right relationship with Christ and spend an eternity in the lake of fire. In the context of his rhetorical question, the Lord was predicting his suffering and death and resurrection. When Peter resisted his teaching, Jesus rebuked him and said, You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Jesus then spoke to the crowd and reminded them that there was nothing worth more than one own eternal soul. Rejecting Christ might mean temporary earthly gains, but it comes at the worst possible price. The Jewish people had been waiting for a promised one for many centuries. Most expected that this Messiah would be a military leader or a king like David or Solomon. Jesus' disciples recognized that he was the one whom the prophets had predicted. However, Jesus did not speak about conquering with an army or by taking over the government. Instead, Jesus thought that the Messiah would suffer and die at the hands of men. Just before he asks, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Jesus says that, in order to truly follow Christ, people must be willing to deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. To take up one's cross is a reference to being condemned to die. Jesus' statement is symbolic of a total final commitment. In other words, one needs to be willing to give up everything in order to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Worldly suffering shouldn't be a deterrent. This is the context of Jesus' question. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? If a person rejects Jesus and becomes the richest, most powerful person on earth, he has still made a poor decision. Sooner or later, earthly things will fade away. And that person will have lost the only part of himself that lasts forever. The day of reckoning is coming. For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they have done. There is nothing more valuable than a person's soul. To trade that away is the epitome of foolishness. When a person chooses to embrace this world, instead of heaven, he is forfeiting his soul. If a person rejects Christ for the sake of anything in this life, he will lose his soul. As a despised his birthright, choosing stew instead. Judas sold the Savior for a few pieces of silver. Demas loved this present world and forsook the ministry. All three men thought they were gaining something, but actually lost everything. In the book of John chapter 18, verse 36, Jesus says that his kingdom is not of this world. But what exactly does it mean that Christians are not of this world? As his followers, Christians are members of his kingdom, which is not of this world, that is, heaven. Yes, we are on earth for now, but our earthly lives are nothing but a vapor. But eternity, now that is a long time, and that is where a Christian's focus should really be. The things of this world, wars, famine, suffering, poverty, etc. impact Christians and non-Christians alike. By remembering that we are not of this world, remembering that these things are just for a little while, we can see them in a different light. We are still in this world, but we are no longer of it. We are still surrounded by all the horrors and tragedy of this life, but this is not our life. The knowledge that we are not of this world gives Christians hope even in the darkest times, hope that this will pass, and at the end of it, we will be in heaven with our God, face to face forever. This cracked and broken place is not where we belong, and it is not where we will stay. Christians are not of this world. We have been adopted as heirs of heaven by God himself, and that is our world, our citizenship. And in the meanwhile we wait, and we hope, and we do what we can to bring others into the knot of this world, relationship with Jesus Christ. Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.